there is a lot of possibilities with the Google site and what you can do with it. And the best thing about the Google site colleagues is the fact that you do not have to know or have any knowledge of coding to create this website for yourself. There's no coding involved. You can just go to your Google site and start creating your site. Right? And ideally the e-learning team at your school should should meet or could meet to start working on this in some time. If you don't have an e-learning committee at colleagues, I advise you to start one so that you guys can start using Google Sites. I have to mention to your colleagues that with Google Sites, there is some limitations involved. So based on the theme that you choose, for instance, it will decide on the color and the font that is used on your Google Site. So colleagues, when creating your website, you need to keep a few things in mind. And if you look on the screen now, colleagues, there's a few designs that we can see over there. And some of it, colleagues, is really, it's a, it's a headache. Because when you go to a website, you're obviously going there for a specific goal or for something specific. And you don't want to search and search for the thing the whole time. You want to be able to click on the thing that you're looking for and it will open. You don't want to have to go through a whole lot of steps. So one of the things you need to keep in mind with the Google site is that keeping things simple and readable and easily accessible and user friendly, it's the key to creating a good and valuable right, Google click site. Click on the waffle, click on Google Drive. This will be a bit easier for you. Yeah. So after you've clicked on your Google Drive and you have logged into your account, you can go over to new, which is on the left hand side, go all the way down, click on more, and then you can just click on Google sites. And then the following screen will appear. And then you should be able to see what it looks like when you start your Google site. Right? So this will be the page that you will end up on. And that's how you will know that you have your Google site open. I think you successfully opened it by following those steps. I'll redo the steps for you now. Just close the rear. Right. You go to your Google Drive by clicking on your Google Waffle after you've signed in. Click on Google Drive. Once your drive opens, you click on New, which is on the left hand side. Scroll all the way down to More. And then your Google Site tab should open up for you. Right? So it's not that difficult, colleagues. All you have to remember is go to your waffle, click on Drive, then click on New, and then click on Google Sites. Okay, so I'm just going to go back to the slideshow. So I've showed you these steps, colleagues, how to access your Google Site. Then, colleagues, when it comes to sharing and publishing your, your site, there's different ways of doing this, colleagues. Because once you have shared your, when, once you have completed your site and you want people to start using it, you need to share it. And there's different ways of doing this, colleagues. One of the ways that you can do it is by sending the link to people. That's one way of doing it. You can also send it via email to them. And then, of course, very popular, sending it via WhatsApp to your learners in the groups or your colleagues and then the qr code colleagues another thing that i forgot to mention is colleagues that you can also paste your link to your site on facebook and any other social media platforms tabs are there on top and there's a little drop down menu so you will know exactly what is in there when you go into those different tabs but then there you can see there the things you can add little gifts pictures and things like that colleagues so this was created using Google Sites. It looks very professional, colleagues. And after you've gotten the hang, like Melissa said, the basics down, you can start adding a lot more things, colleagues. You can even add links over here, like these buttons at the bottom. So I'll move over to our next example. This is the MNED ICT Champion website, colleagues great website to go and pay a visit to when you have time. 
Again, plain and simple, colleagues. The menu is on the left hand side. So if you are looking for something specific, you can just go over to the menu button over there and you will have all those options here and to click on whichever it is that you are looking for. So there's pictures added and we have a look at the next tab. There we go. And like I mentioned earlier, colleagues, when you're adding content, the content can be viewed as well. This isn't a PDF now, but I'll see if there's one there maybe. Okay. But dear colleagues, again, pictures, plain and simple, no, nothing too fancy. Okay. I'll just go to the last example. Okay. This is the Robin Will I School Online Classroom Colleagues. This is something I created when the pandemic was about two months old when we realized that our kids will need to get some content and work uh, colleagues and like melissa mentioned earlier the planning stage colleagues it took me about a week to get everything sorted i had to i literally sat in my room and i had sticky notes pasted everywhere because i had an idea in my head but i needed to get it onto paper and then go and see if i can could do this on google sites so this is something I created, added pictures, added the different grades, just see if I click here. So add the different subjects there, colleagues. I want to see if there's a document that we can, just to show you what it would look like. So the document is added, it's a PDF, so on the site they can scroll through the document without downloading it. And I should mention to you, colleagues, that the Google site is not, um, is it zero rated, I think the term is, so it does take a bit of data. That's why it's best to keep your files as small as possible when uploading it. Uh, Daniel, it. we just have a question from Chantal Daniel. Uh, how long does it, how long does, can it take to create a detailed website? It can take some time. What is the time. timeline? What's the timeline, yeah. do you think? Right. So, colleagues, when it comes to planning your website, it's best for you to, if you are doing it on your own, which I would not advise you to do because it can become quite frustrating. Let's say there's five of you and you guys are working on the Google site. You guys are collaborating different ideas, bouncing off ideas with each other. It can take about a week if you guys are spending at least three hours each day then by the Friday, you should be able to have an, a website, a detailed website. But you should make sure that each one in your group, if they have something specific or a specific task that they will do, get someone to make sure that everything is converted to PDF, get someone working on the layout and the design of the website, colleagues. So it can take up to a week. That's a detailed website. If you are just creating something just for uploading content for people to access, that can take a day or two, for instance. But the, the important thing is, colleagues, your content should be on your Google Drive to make it easier for you to just import it or insert it into your Google. Right. I've already clicked on my Google Waffle, so my drive is open. I'll click on New, scroll all the way down to More, and then click on Google Sites. There you go. So colleagues, this is the the best part about the Google site is that the the pages that you see it will have the coding will be done for you already. So all you need to do is you're just basically adding things. Right? So you're on this first page, this will be your home page. I'll just add the site in there, I'll make it my site. And then you will see colleagues on your right hand side. This is where you have your insert button, you have your pages, and you have your theme. So right now the theme of this is a grayish color there. So if I change the theme, let me just add this here as well. Okay. So we can see how the font changes. And something that they introduced now recently to Google Sites is that you get to change the font. So that is, with Google Sites, it's changing a lot. Maybe after a month or so, you'll see that there's something new added to Google Sites. 
right? So you can click when you click on themes, you will have about one, two, three themes here, and then you have the simple one over there. So as soon as you choose one of these themes, the font will change, the color will change, okay? and even the little pictures and the backgrounds that you have over there. And then colleagues, if you are busy creating your website and you made a little mistake, you have these buttons over here where it says undo and it says redo. And the best part about this is colleagues that you can even view what it would look like when you open your website on a, a different device. So I'll just click on that preview button. And so here at the bottom, you get to choose a large screen tablet or cell phone so you will be able to see what the site would look like on these devices it will give you a preview of it so that is the cell phone and it's the tablet and then the large screen which will be your desktop or your laptop so colleagues this will be your first page for instance and you, you will add your content there and then to add the content colleagues you go to insert Right. So then you get to decide what you want to add. Do you want to add a file from a Google Drive, an embedded file, which will be a video maybe from YouTube, images, which is in your Google file already, or just a text box. And then below that, you can choose the, the layout that you want. So you maybe want one picture with, con with some text next to it, maybe even two pictures. So you will have these options to choose from. And once you've added something, you can also move it around. And then with regards to the pages, you can rename your pages and it will appear like that in your menu button or in your menu option. So to add a new page, you click on pages. Then you will see the buttons that some of the buttons, the pages that you have already. So I already have a home button, but I want to add a new page and I'll make that lessons and I'll just click on done and then you will see it will open immediately and it will be on your right hand side we have shows you all the pages that you have I'm just going to add another one just so we can see the different menu I'll make this planning and again planning the planning page will open and it will appear over here so if there's a page that you don't want anymore, colleagues, then you will just click on the three buttons okay, next to the page name, and then you can delete, or you can just hide it, or you can even add a sub page to it, or you can duplicate the page. And you can also make it your own page. So when people access your website, that will be the first page that they go to. Currently, it is set on the home, which is this. And that is what I want them to see when they go to the website for the first time. It is advisable, colleagues, when you are creating a site that somewhere on the site there should be some instructions or a way of people letting you know if they are experiencing any difficulty or challenges with regards to accessing things on the website. Colleagues, with regards to the layout, when you are inserting, you should make sure that you know exactly what it is you are going to insert. That's if you are inserting, for instance, a I'll just add your I'll add something quicker. So you can upload colleagues to add something, a file for instance. You click on the plus sign. Right? Once you've chosen your layout, I'm just going to remove this button, just restart. I'm going to remove that. I'm going to add that over there. And then I will just add a file by clicking either upload or from drive. I'm going to say upload. Right. So this is from your PC colleagues, but you can also do it from your drive. Right. So I'm just going to add a picture quickly. But to add the picture colleagues, you, or to add anything for that matter, you double click, you just click on the plus sign. I'm just going to add it here as well. Click on the plus sign, click on upload, and that will be from your PC, anything that is on your PC, right? Another option that you can go for is to say from drive. So then if you have uploaded stuff to your drive, it should appear there, and then you can just insert it. I'm going to add a file. I'll add a PowerPoint. 
to add a colleagues just double click on it and the file will appear there i'm just going to close this up so on the right next to that colleagues you can give some instructions you can just type something and tell him what it is So that is how you will add text to it, colleagues. And if you want to take the text away, you can just click on the box again, highlight and delete. And then you can just add new text if that is what you want to do. Okay. Colleagues, you are welcome to ask questions if you have any. Okay. So again, colleagues, I'm going to show you how to insert a image, for instance. I'm just going to click on images. I can click upload or select. Upload will be from the PC again, colleagues. If you say select, then it will open up your drive. And I'll just search for image over here. I'll say school. Add a picture to add the picture, colleague. Once you've searched for it, remember you can get your images from your Google Drive or you can get it from Google. I'm choosing the one from Google. Once a tick is the colleagues, that is an image that you will be uploading. So then you click on insert. And then the image will be inserted there, and then you can make it a bit bigger. To make your image a bit bigger, colleagues, you simply click on the image, wait for the buttons in the corners to appear, similar to Word when you're adding a picture, and you can crop and you can uncrop the image. So I'm just going to crop this image a bit. Just on that part, and then I'll click on the create button. So that is the image, colleagues. So I want to move this image as well. So you can't move it but yeah you can move it by clicking on it and I'll place it in the middle right, so now I just want to have a look at what this would look like on a mobile device and to do that I will go over to my preview button which is located in the right hand corner the right hand side click on preview and then I will click mobile device or phone and this is what it would look like Now I can already see, colleagues, that the way I have chosen my layout, it's not actually very appealing on a mobile device, but I'll check on the tablet. Right? It looks a bit better. So while you are creating your site, colleagues, always be sure to have a look at the preview. And you will notice that the menu button is, will be here on top. You can also change okay. that. Click on Copy. So now the link is copied to your clipboard, and then you can go back to your site. So now that you have, remember it's on your clipboard, so the link that you copied it will be there. You click on insert, go to embed, and then you right click and you paste your link over there that you have. So then a small preview will come up just below that so that you can see if this is a good video that you copied, and then you will click on insert. So now your video has been inserted and it will play. We'll just check if it plays now. So I'm going to move my video to the middle. And I want to just add a text, colleagues. Remember, colleagues, on the right hand side is your, let's call it your, your menu. And to get the menu or to get an easier way to get to the menu, you can simply double click anywhere on the white part of the thing that you're working on. That the same options will be there. So I want to add a text. And all I want to say there is have a look at the video. I'm going to make that a bit bigger. I want them to be able to see it. I'll make it bold as well. And then you can change the, the way the text looks, colleagues. You can change it to title, heading, or subheading, or small text. 
I'll show you what the title looks like. That's the title. That's the heading. And then you have the subheading, which is a bit smaller, so I'll keep it on title. Right? And you can also underline or you can make it italics. Right? And then you can change the text color, colleagues, right? by clicking on the A next to it, the underlined A. So I will highlight this again. Click on that and make it blue. I think it was blue. I'll make it red. Here we go. Right. So again, colleagues, I've uploaded something to my Google site. So I want to see if this will open and what it would look like by going to my tree view. So I'm going to have a look, scrolling down, the video we see, and it is playable. I'm just going to close that. So now I've shown you colleagues how to add text. I've shown you how to add images and different files such as a PDF file. Again, colleagues, you want to plan this before you upload. So like Melissa said, you can use a whiteboard. I preferred to use sticky notes because it was easy to move it around. Make sure that you know what pages you want there. Remember to add a different page or to rename a page. Next to insert, click on pages. Then you add your page over there. That's all right there. Pause. That is my new page over there. And to add a collaborator, you use the, the not the tabs, but the menu over here. Let me say share with others when you click on that. So I want to add, let's say, Melissa. that one right. so I'm sharing this with her and I'm also making an editor right. so she will be able to edit on the website I'm just going to see if I can get focus in there as well and I'm just going to say to them please have a look and edit right. so I'm sharing this with them but I'm also giving them permission to edit the website colleagues right So if I don't want them to edit on the website, I can just click on editor and then change it to published viewer. So they will only be able to view the site, but I want them to make some editing on here. So I will now send this. Okay, and this is outside of that. Just see. There we go. So now I'm sending that to Melissa and to Fergus. Uh, it still says this, and oh, I must just remove that one then. Here we go. Right. So now it will tell me over here, people added. So now I know that they've been added, and then they can make changes to the website. Right. So over there, I will be able to see who's been added. So over there, colleagues, as soon as Melissa is busy on the website, I will be able to see what she is doing. You click on the form. You can double click. Right? Click on it and then say insert. Right? Click on insert and then the form will appear over there. So I'm just going to have a look at this on the preview of a mobile device. So that is on the mobile device, and they are able to then complete the form there. Okay. Here we go. Right, so I'm going to just publish the site again, colleagues. The changes that were made, it's the form that's added. I'm happy with that. So I'm going to say publish. Okay. I'll just redo this. I'll add another form, colleagues, just so that we can all be on the same page. Okay. So I'm going to add another form. I'll click on insert. Scroll all the way down to forms. My forms will appear in every form that is on my Google Drive. So let me just add this. I'll click on it, click on insert, and then 
if you double click colleagues the form will appear then if you click on it once and you click on insert the same thing will happen so now I have two forms over here I'll just close that right. so now there's another form of publish right. and I'll in here I'll just make it my site for session right. Once you've chosen the, the name colleagues, remember this is the name that will be at the end of of this um, address at the bottom, right? So people can't just type in your na the name that you are putting in there. They need to go to the entire link or type the full address, right? So I'm gonna make uh, I'll keep it my site for session one, and Google will indicate to me if I can use this or not. Right. And then, colleagues, if you have a look over here, it says who can view my site. If you change this from anyone, you can manage it by saying, just wait for this to open up. So now you get to add people. Right. So if you only, if you are in the planning stages of this and you don't want anyone else to be able to open it, you can share this with only the colleagues that's working with you on the site. Right. So I'm just going to redo that quickly. So I'll click on publish, add the name that I want for the website, and then I will say manage. And I'll if I if once the site is open and it's done, not open colleagues, once you guys are done planning and you've added everything that you need to add, you click on manage and then you make sure that it says anyone. So anyone with this link or anyone who clicks on this link, they will be able to open it. And then lastly, request public search engines to not display my site. If you do not want Google to open your, or not to open, but to list your website in the searches when people search for something like my site for session 01, or if people have heard about the site, if they search for it on Google, they will be able to open it to view the site colleagues.